you know that? Hi. I'm Barat Santaj. This is Imitar. Imitrov. Guy with the other distance of two. That's so awesome. And uh, we have two new members to our team, Eric Schultz and Dan Bulger. And they started helping us out uh, a couple weeks ago. They're not on our cost, but they're doing it for credit with uh, Brown. And our project is Pierce Logic, which is a logical system using colorful, colorful graphs. Um, who knows what this is already? Out of curiosity. Let's see if I can skip ahead. Okay, so like most people. So you guys, you guys have seen this stuff. Go out of the way, Google Drive. That's not gonna leave. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we use existential graphs, which are more like symbols, but they're trees in reality. And we're building a propositional logical system because it doesn't exist. Like this, there's nothing to do existential graphs other than something written in really, really old Java that doesn't work anymore. Um, it only has a cut operator, so quick recap, here's a plane of truth. You can put anything on here, and it's conjuncted, which means it's added together. So you put a P and Q, and that's P and Q. Simple. Then you put a circle around something, or a round rectangle, and it's called a cut, and that negates it, so it's not P and Q. And for example, it's not, not, and, not, Q, so it becomes or. Um, I skipped through that. So we have four inference rules. Yay. It's really easy. So double cut, you can just put two cuts around something to take it off. Uh, iteration and de-iteration. If something is on a lower level, you can like bring it forward or take it out. And erasure, anything on an even level, and level determined by how many cuts around it, you can just erase it. And insertion, you can go from any odd level and put anything you want inside of it. Um, so what did we do this semester? We actually got a bunch of stuff working. We have multi-selection, which is kind of annoying to do. Let's see. Um, so you can select multiple things at the same time. And then uh, we have a basic interface for doing a whole proof now, which is nice. And we have all the rules implemented. And uh, Derek has been working on the Django backend for posting all the proofs online. That's not up yet, but we're almost ready to post everything. And we still have a lot, a long way to go to make it a little more professional. Um, so we still need to make the GUI a lot better, but it'll happen eventually. And uh, the rest of the stuff. I'm really interested in automated goal checking because it's actually simpler in the circle system because it's automatically in CNF form for doing resolution. Um, demo, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna show you how ridiculously simple this is something like this. There you go. So you just double click, and you're on the plane of truth, and you can put anything you want. So this is when you construct your premises, so when you do logic, you have stuff you work off of, your assumptions. So we just make those real quick. By real quick, you mean like a minute. Um, just watch it if it happens. So what we're going to show is after you have all these premises set up, just using the four input rules, and doing really cool manipulations, um, you'll go from there's this and there's an extra not. See, um, the menu is going over there. The resolution. It's a bug we have it. Originally, fix it. Alright, so these are our premises. So, A or B, and C implies not B. I know that's hard to read, but once you understand how to read these things, you'll instantly start seeing them. And then, not C. And those are all handed together. So, those are our assumptions. And now, we're going to try to get A. <coughs> So now we're proving something. <laughs> we can 
click, go places, and multiple click. So that was de-iteration. So something on a lower level and something on a higher level, we could take now. And then, <coughs> and it's double cut. It's like it's drop out two cuts because it's a not not, which is true. <laughs> And then de iteration again. And double cut. And we're done. We have a. So that's just doing a proof. And that was super simple. I don't know if you guys actually took logic or not, but that would actually be quite a few more steps. But uh, scroll down and see if you can see the thing. Um, we have a little timeline going. You can go back in time and see which proof steps you did and go to a different branch and start doing stuff like that. It's cool. We also have an insertion mode where I can show that. It's not any odd level. So it's even. That's what I'm saying. Insertion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It turns into a thing, dash line. It looks pretty. Um, and then it goes into construction mode so you can put anything you want in the insertion. And then go back. Then it's there. And, uh, that's about it. Uh, what do you have in here? All right. Oh, down. Okay. Thank you. Questions first. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're getting our hosting stuff together because we have to get budget. Because we actually have money from, because this is part of the grant. So we get to put it somewhere. Cool. That's, that's still in the making. Good old is this, is this going to be part of any classes around here? Yeah, Brown Van Hoeven is ready to use this. He's actually the one who gives the idea to it. Can you do B and C and not B and not C? And not be a good Isn't that a contradiction? Yeah, that's what I want. What will really happen? I mean, I'm going to call it So, B. Can we just do B and not be? Yeah, we can do B and not be. Contradiction, because that's false. Uh, that, it's it's, it's false. a circle around truth. Yeah. yeah. Any other questions? <laughs> Wait, show them like the cool stuff when it explodes. <laughs> double cut, just double cut everything. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> Look, it like zooms out and stuff. I don't know. I like animations. That's pretty. Yeah. Um, okay, one one quick thing. We can stop staring at the hypnotizing colors. Okay. Um, I think I spoke about this before. But uh, I'm starting a Kaggle group. And Zach's in it. And David might be in it. Dion's here. Dion's in it. Anyway, we're looking for more people. So what Kaggle is, it's a machine learning competition. And basically, companies just offer us data sets, and if we do well on them, they give us money or jobs, uh, whichever, or nothing. But, <laughs> um, so, we're looking for more people because it'd be nice because everybody can get, get their own method and we can put a lot of methods together and win stuff. And you don't need any, any, any experience. You don't need any experience. We'll teach you everything. Machine learning is easy. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're planning on meeting with summer night, which is the Sunday after school ends. If anyone's interested, speak to me afterwards. That's it.